Paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. My family grew up by the sea. My mother and I lived by the sea all our life and we never learned to swim. And we were swimming um, and there's these old shelters, old yellow shelters made out of concrete. And I seen my friend Ken Foley jump off the diving board and dive straight into the sea. And I thought, oh yeah, I'm gonna do that, I'm cool, I'll do that. And I jumped in and I got caught in a load of seaweed and I panicked and I started to get down and I was gone. And then, but then luckily this guy Ken Foley was a very strong swimmer and pulled me out of the sea. And I remember seeing my mother, you know, looking down, but she couldn't do anything. So I think ever since then, I can swim great in the pool, but I have an awful fear of the sea. Tags um, stands for trans and gender non-conforming swimming. People come to us and say we haven't swum for ten years, we haven't felt confidence to do this. It's some, swimming, swimming's what everyone can do, isn't it? Swimming's what everyone should just have the power to do, the the, the, the ability to do, not the power. Roberta and I were talking about not having anywhere to swim and Roberta took it on board and went to find a swimming pool. And the reason that we had the conversation is because it's difficult for trans people to enter public spaces because the bodies are different, because there's prejudice, because there's misunderstanding and we wanted to find a space that trans people feel secure to swim. That first jump, that first slide into the water was a massive reclaim of, of a sense of power, but a sense of serene power. People said, yeah, 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 it's needed, it's needed. So that was lovely the first time. It was amazing just to be in. The... We had to just walk into that pool and just say, yeah, well, this is our space now. And there was like nine or 10 people walked through the door and we were like, woo! I don't wear the bikini top now because my breasts are grown because I'm in transition. And I'm proud of my breasts and I want to show them off. So I get into the pool and it was great to be able to make that leap. Do you know what I mean? Whereas before, I would have never took my top off. But I thought, you know what? Fuck it. And it was so exhilarating and so much freedom to be in there with my top off. I can go there without getting any anxiety at all, without any worries, because I know that it's a completely safe space. And that's it's a small thing, but it's, it's a thing that can change life. And having the chance to have like a valve or like, you know, to let off the steam and exercise and make you feel better, even if it's a little bit more, is, is massive. People, I don't think that people realize, but it is a massive thing because the suicide rate is so high just get out of the house, know someone that you're safe, exercise, get the good things of oxygen, it makes you feel better. Being in water is that kind of like, isn't it? Because we all come from the womb and, and the first nine months of our lives we're, we're encased in water anyway, aren't we? Do you know what I mean? So it's that 
safe, you know, feeling of, of, of freedom in the water where you can just like, you know, swim or float or, you know, and just, it's gentle. It's a gentle kind of soothing, you know, feeling. And it's, it's especially in that pool because it's so, you know, safe. It is a very safe space. So that's lovely, that. like people to take a step back, think about why this is strange, and we're so brought up that way to think that um, people that are perceived as masculine, if they take on anything feminine, it's, it's, uh, it's um, demeaning, it's, it's, it's the wrong thing to do, and it's a dangerous thing to do, it's, it's a brave thing to do. They say that we're unnatural, they say that we're perverted, that we're not genuine people, that we're a threat to the family, that we're just basically <laughs> horrific people. Because of the way society sees us, a lot of us experience depressions, anxiety, and that's not because we're trans, that's all because you just want to feel safe, and you're not. had a transphobic incident here. Basically what happened was the door was open and some young people walked in and seen some trans people in the pool but didn't say anything and waited for us to come out. And as soon as we came out, they started shouting abuse, calling us trannies and, and they actually followed us. I mean, the people were never caught, but what happened there as a result of that was that it was felt that the door should be locked for safety. And I said, no way, the door's not gonna be locked because that's like saying, oh, we're giving up. It's taken me a great many years to get to this point. And I think now, I think from the first time I accepted myself and I went out, I just, I just, it was just such a relief to me. It didn't matter to me if people sometimes would come up to me or they would be aggressive to me. Just in my physical expression, I can, I can move in, <laughs> I can move and walk the way I, always would hide before. I can speak in my, this is my, this is how I speak. This is my normal way of, of speaking. I don't have to speak deeper. I don't have to be anything other than who I am. And it's, it comes out of everyone. When they go through their transition, when they start being who they are, you can see it. You can see the weight being lifted off their shoulders. You can see the energy and who they are come out. And it's the joy. It's the joy of being a complete human being after being fractured for so long.